I'm a pumpkin heads. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and I'm really happy to have you guys here. Today I'm bringing you guys along of like the process of getting my passport. Today I have my passport appointment at 9 30. It's currently 8 40 and it's like a 30 minute drive. I wanted to show you guys what it's like doing it because I feel like it's like over talk that it's like stressful and overwhelming and it's a long process and it kind of is but it kind of isn't. I am applying for my passport like brand new because I did have a passport when I was younger but um if you wanted to renew it through mail I think or just renew it in general to fill out a different form you have to be 16 and older when you had applied for your passport i was 12 at the time so i have to reapply like brand new here are the things that you actually need before your appointment so the first thing is you need the documentation i'm filling out the ds11 which is like um, new applicants or if you didn't qualify to renew it and then so there's certain requirements you have to pass to um, renew it and if you don't make it you fill out the ds11 there's more information online obviously i actually ended up printing it out i didn't go get the form from the office place because i just didn't have the time to go so that's the thing if you can't go print it go to your public library if you don't have a printer do it that way then you need your photo taken a passport photo i got mine here done at walmart it was pretty cheap i feel like compared to other places i've heard um so this is her um, i got her here for like 11 bucks that's the second thing the third thing you're gonna need is obviously the most important i feel like is setting your appointment because appointments get booked out really quickly you need to look at multiple locations don't just set at the location the nearest by you because the one by my house was gonna be the 26th today's the 20th and i'm getting in a few days earlier which by the way i kind of need it earlier because i'm having a trip planned out to go to mexico for two weeks by the end of may and i'm already paying expedited fee which is 60 dollars on top so it gets here quicker so it's making your appointment, looking a location to go, having your um, documentation, having the forms you need for your identification as well. I'm bringing my old passport and my birth certificate. I also brought my social just in case. Like I just like being over prepared than under prepared. And I'm currently, that's the last thing, you need your payment payment that you need to do to the agency of the passport you need a money order or a check i don't have checks so i came to walmart to get a money order i know that the place that i'm going if this place isn't open i know i can get the money order there and they have an additional three dollar fee plus the application fee is 35 dollars, which i can pay with cash or a card i hope that was easy to understand so now i'm gonna go to walmart because i am actually gonna be running late if i don't leave now i also wanted to mention that you can go online and check daily if there's any appointments opening up because the location i'm going to when i looked a month ago it could have been because i was looking like later in the day instead of in the morning most of the appointments were bugged out but two days ago i saw that the location i'm going to they literally have appointments available like multiple appointments available this week and then the upcoming week also don't mind my lash is all like they're falling apart right now it's embarrassing i was pretty quickly because there was nobody in line so i got my money order of 190 dollars which is what goes to the passport agency i don't know i just know you can't do cash and then i forgot that you can also take out cash here like cash back so i got my 40 dollars because i actually don't have any cash with me i haven't gone to the bank i'm carrying all my documentation so this is what the form kind of looks like these are like the preview pages and then the actual actual application i'm not going to show anymore because then my information's filled out below and then i'm also carrying my birth certificate and in the front i have my passport and inside i have my social security card i left my last name not fully filled out because i have two last names and it's hyphenated i think it's called and i don't know if i'm supposed to put the dash in it with the application or if i just put a space so i just left it and i'm gonna help them figure it out for me my the lady told me i have like really clear screen i'm like thanks because my lashes are falling apart right now like y'all see this y'all see that it hurts because i can't even take them off and i don't know how to take them off and then these were so pretty yesterday and i don't know what the fuck happened but now we're gonna drive to the location which is can you see this cracked ass driver couldn't be me but the location is 20 minutes and then my friend had told me that she actually had an appointment there as well and that to get there early because parking there is fucking ass just arrived here oh i found parking already easy light work y'all look there's so much parking i feel like honestly my friend probably went to a different one because ain't no way she struggled to find parking here like literally there's so much parking or maybe because my appointment's just so early oh my god y'all there's puppies look y'all 
see those little puppies oh my god i'm gonna get going because it's 9 18 and like thinking about it really i don't really know exactly where i'm going and i don't want to be late so i'm gonna get going i'm like really nervous because like this is big girls texting like this is adulthood so I'm nervous because i hate going to places where i don't know because i get really awkward and then i get a panic a lot I told them I have an appointment and then I'm sitting in this like other room kind of like right next to them and I'm just waiting for them to call my number. I got a message saying like, oh, go to the lobby and wait for your number to show up on the monitor. But I don't even know what monitor they're talking about because I don't see shit. So it's getting their Let's go. Let's go. My boyfriend, I think he lost his fucking passport. Keep in mind, motherfucker got it like last year or two years ago i think it was and he was supposed to go to mexico and like when we were friends like when i first met him he was like telling me like oh yeah i'm gonna go get i'm gonna get my passport i'm gonna go to mexico blah 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 and guess what motherfucker did did not go to mexico you know why because i'm pretty sure he was waiting to go to mexico with the love of his life and that is me i got my passport now also another thing i had to fill out another form like doing my signature and then printing out my name and the date attached to my passport I guess the signature I did on the application didn't match up. She's like, it kind of looks a bit different. So like, I'm gonna just do this in case. Another thing is that the photo that I presented, which by the way, looks like, like that. She says that it looks a bit blurry. So she was like, do you want to take another one? I'm like, no, it's okay. I'll just go with that one. And she was like, oh, okay. But like, hopefully that doesn't fucking delay my passport and have it be sent back for me to get another photo. It did not take that long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some information and it helped you guys out. If anything, just comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try to answer the best to my knowledge. But until next time, I love y'all my pumpkin heads. Stay safe, drive safe, be safe. Have a good day.